1951. This year, I Love Lucy premiered on television. Guess what else happened? The first direct dial coast-to-coast -coast telephone call was made. Wow. I know. Think about that when you get irritated with your cell phone. <laughs> and we're having a Halloween party, and who better to help than my friend and one cool kitten, Chef Pilar Valdez. <laughs> What 1950s treats are we making today? First up, the ultimate showstopper, a baked Alaska. That is so 1950s. <laughs> it is. So this dessert is basically layers of ice cream with a chocolate or brownie base wrapped in a meringue and then toasted. So mm. shall we? Yes. All right. So first off, you have a ramekin that's lined with a little bit of um, plastic wrap. And you're going to fill in. We did two layers of ice cream. We did strawberry and chocolate. And the last layer is actually going to be a, a chocolate mint chip. And then, Drew, we have a little bit of a brownie on this plate. And do we put it on top? And you put it on top, and that becomes the base. And basically, what you're going to do is freeze this for a few hours until it firms up. And when you unmold it, da -da -da -da. oh my gosh, it's upside down. It's upside down. So you're going to flip it over, take out the ramekin, peel off the plastic, and Drew, over here, in your bowl over there, you have a little bit of meringue. It's a very like marshmallowy, um, and you cook this. <laughs> you cook this on like a, a pot, like kind of a double boiler, bain marie. Uh huh. It's egg white, sugar, cream of tartar, and some salt. And we're gonna put that on our little ice cream. Beautiful. And if you guys aren't ready to serve it yet, you can actually just stick it back in the freezer until you're ready to to bake it off or touch it off. So back in the day, they actually used to bake this. You can still do that 500 degrees, four minutes until it gets golden brown. And now we can actually torch it modern day. This is what you got me really excited about. OK. All right, one, two. Oh, you're going to click this towards you, this guy. Get, no, I, got go. I got it. I got and it. And we're off to the races. <laughs> Oh my gosh, look, that's so gratifying. Ooh, this is so Ooh, fun. I mean, but look how beautiful that is, guys. That's gorgeous. Can I invite my daddy-o? Uh, um, absolutely. Oh, daddy-o, would you like some... Uh... Uh, honey, I'm home. Oh my God. <laughs> am I your beer? Oh my God. <laughs> I don't know, but I am feeling this out. Ponytail. Is uh, dessert ready? <laughs> okay. Is this the one you were licking just out of curiosity? <laughs> no. Okay. That's the one I was licking. Okay. I swear, this one has been never touched. Okay. I'll tell you, I am a wholesome traditional man. I like my desserts room temperature and vanilla. So uh, I'm going to take a real risk here. No. Uh. I'm going to cut mm. into this guy. Consider me converted. Really? That is. Yeah. What? Boy, am I glad I married you. <laughs> I told you I'd make you happy. <laughs> sort of. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Pilar, my best partner in culinary crime, what's next? So we have three... Um, Treats over here, very 1950s inspired. So all the rage in 1950s, Jello and Jello molds. The Jello was very popular because it was instant, it was new. So we have this no bake jelly cheesecake, which is kind of incredible. How do you have a no bake cheesecake? We use the gelatin to set it. Basically, it's right. really good. And then we did a ginger snap um, and graham cracker crust. So it's really, really delicious, as and you can see. Should we get to try it? I Gorgeous think you can. Too. Shall we try? So gelatin, and uh huh. And what is the? How do you make the cheesecake? The cheesecake is a little bit of um, sour cream, a little bit of cream cheese, and then a little bit of that gelatin to set it. Well, it looks like Drew likes her cheesecake like she likes her husband's, just a little fruity. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Right there, the 
whole time. I know. It's true. Mm -hmm. um, mm. Wait, Pilar, will you tell me about the candy apples, too? Because there was a really interesting spin on those as well as the caramel. Okay, part. so our last two treats, too. We have uh, candied apples, which actually, when they first made these, the person who made them used to dip them in a cinnamon syrup, and they were really used to just attract people. He didn't think that he was going to actually sell them, but they were very popular, and people started buying them. We did a little bit of a twist on this, and we did a balsamic uh, candied apple. Cute. Thank you. I'm scared to do it. Okay. I know. I'm like, I don't trust my teeth on these, uh, but yeah. uh, <laughs> I'm cheering you guys uh, on. I did it. <laughs> mm. You did. <laughs> I can't believe that. It's amazing. It's really wow. nice. That balsamic caramel, guys, is really delicious. Yeah. What? What All did right. you do to the caramel crumb? Because you put an ingredient in there that I absolutely love. So the last one is our take on a classic Cracker Jack, and it's a miso caramel corn. Whoa. Whoa is the word. Whoa. Mm-hmm. This is my new favorite. Mm-hmm. Mm. <laughs> so, miso and caramel. Uh-huh. Balsamic. Miso and caramel, balsamic, uh-huh. Apples, yum. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, Drew wants me to tell you all to go to the DrewBarrymoreShow.com for the recipes, for all these treats, and a big thanks to Pilar!